Senator Kirsten Cinema, who hates the attention, <laughs> says she is opposed to raising taxes on the wealthy to pay for President Biden's agenda. Finally, someone speaking up for billionaires. <laughs> because it's so hard to hear them from space. <laughs> Donald Trump announced the launch of his own social media network he's calling Truth Social. But most people know it by its original name, the National Sex Offender Registry. <laughs> Biden also got his COVID booster shot at the White House live on camera. And based on this photo, it either really hurt or felt really good. <laughs> Pfizer has also submitted data to the FDA to approve its COVID vaccine for kids under 11, which means they could be vaccinated by Halloween. Because what goes better with Halloween than needles? <laughs> uh, very nice to be back with you. Uh, you know, first show, la first show last season, COVID was raging everywhere. There was no vaccine. We were in the middle of an intense election. And just before we went on the air, the producers were like, hey, real quick, uh, the president might be dying. Uh, anyway, have fun out there. It was an exciting time for the show. Big, big story this year, infrastructure. I guess that's an improvement on like a survival of the human race level, but it's not great for... President Biden met with House Democrats yesterday to make a case for his Build Back Better budget plan. And no matter what you think about Biden's plan, you got to admire the confidence of a guy with a stutter naming something for Build Back Better budget plan. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, seen here watching a child fall into the gorilla enclosure. <laughs> McConnell has agreed to a deal to temporarily raise the debt ceiling through early December. And then at that point, it'll be almost Christmas, and McConnell will be busy going around to Toys for Tots bins and gluing them shut. <laughs> Yesterday, President... Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> This week, we found out that sometimes a guy in a hoodie actually can be dangerous. <laughs> Internal documents show that Facebook knew its platform was used to spread hate and misinformation, but they hid the evidence. Now, the weird thing is, I went to school with Mark Zuckerberg, and I was there when he created Facebook. And I feel terrible. I mean, sometimes I wish I had a time machine so I could go back to college and find Mark. This week, Instagram was down for an entire day, forcing many Instagram addicts to fill their time with Twitter, TikTok, or hosting SNL. <laughs> Fox News turned 25 this week, and they celebrated their birthday the same way I do, by paying white women to say some nasty stuff. <laughs> A new report shows that President Biden is on average 22 minutes late for public events. Worse, he only does it to appeal to black voters. <laughs> <laughs> the Brooklyn Nets have banned star player Kyrie Irving from the team until he's finally vaccinated. And as a New York sports fan, I hope this decision finally forces Kyrie to do the right thing and buy a fake vaccination card. <laughs> the Biden administration's climate plan is likely to be dropped from the budget bill after Senator Joe Manchin refused to support it. But you know what? I'm not going to let some bad climate news ruin this beautiful 80-degree October day. <laughs> Manchin, who's from West Virginia, said he would only agree to Biden's bill if it cuts clean energy and officially makes coal one of the five food groups. <laughs> the Biden administration's climate plan is likely to be dropped from the budget bill after Senator Joe Manchin refused to support it. But you know what? I'm not going to let some bad climate news ruin this beautiful 80-degree October day. <laughs> Manchin, who's from West Virginia, said he would only agree to Biden's bill if it cuts clean energy and officially makes coal one of the five food groups. <laughs> A Star Wars-themed house has been listed for sale in Florida, but in Florida, Star Wars-themed just means it was owned by siblings who kiss. <laughs> After trying for several years, the New York City Commission voted to remove a statue of Thomas Jefferson from City Hall. They were finally able to remove it by telling the statue there was a hot black lady outside. <laughs> well, this is our Halloween episode, guys, so I wanted to start by showing you the most haunting image I saw this week. Uh, no, not, not that, actually. That, that's just Kanye. Uh, sorry, Ye. He goes by Ye now. 
even though no one looks at this and thinks, yay. <laughs> the haunting image I was thinking about was actually this one. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's my guy. Because uh, this week, a former White House, I want to say, garbage man, 